Hello, good evening. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, the uh, Monday, 19th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com as well. Okay, now let's uh, see the summation here with regards to the uh, European markets. Asian markets overnight certainly were weak, and therefore one would expect the weakness to continue, especially with a uh, late session weakness in the US on Friday. Uh, and now we are focusing on Yellen shortly. Uh, she's due to, uh, there's a potential speech by her at half past six. Currently it's uh, almost 60 minutes away. Okay, in terms of uh, European session, the FTSE 100 is finishing flat. The DAX flat as well, up 22 points. The CAC minus 10. FTSE MIB certainly weaker today as well, along with the IREX and the Euro stocks. In terms of economic data, we had um, Japanese uh, data out overnight. Uh, again, um, nothing really of any importance. In terms of Euro European session, we had... Um, IFO data coming out on the stronger side, so German data. Not only did JMO IFO data come out on the stronger side, we also had the Bundesbank as well, certainly indicating strong growth going forward. We had this uh, dovish rhetoric from Mr. ECB's Visco that certainly did underpin and help the market to a large extent. Okay, so certainly bullish bias there in terms of economic data and uh, and central banks as well. Now, in towards the US session, we've had uh, PMI data actually come out on the weaker side. Okay. And uh, the other factor as well is the uh, Russian situation. Apparently, a, a, a Russian ambassador has been shot in Turkey and has actually passed away, so uh, rest in peace. And again, that's going to have a negative impact on global markets uh, in terms of geopolitical concerns on the rise, and that should certainly help the dollar move higher, which in turn should trigger off risk aversion and fear, etc. And you will see the markets moving south. And that's my expectation and anticipation, especially given the fact that the S&P 500 has a H&S formation. So if I just bring up a 60 minute chart and show you, we have this right shoulder. OK, so again, so everything from my perspective is indicating a move south. OK, especially with the H&S formation on the S&P 500. Now, let's bring up the technical pattern, technical situation, sorry, with regards to German DAX. German DAX is still holding that key resistance zone on the horizontal daily chart. So therefore, you are looking for bearish price action. 60-minute chart basically trading sideways, nothing really there. And again, same with the German DAX trading sideways. So for my interpretation, the uh, Russian situation or Russian attack uh, or attack on a potential Russian ambassador in Turkey certainly will escalate things, especially given the fact that uh, obviously uh, Turkey is part of NATO. So that certainly does create uncertainty and creates fear, and therefore you're looking for a, a move lower. That's my interpretation and understanding and given the fact that the German DAX is into resistance. Okay, folks, in terms of the French CAC, let's just give you an insight here. French CAC, again, doji candle in, in signaling weakness. Let's go to the 60 minute chart now. Okay, 60 minute chart, again, no new high and hasn't tested the previous high either. So therefore, but one would conclude that the bias remains bearish. 10 minute chart, again, just basically trading sideways, no real move in either direction. Let's bring up the FTSE 100. FTSE 100 here, weekly chart, still holding that FIB 75% thus far. Uh, daily chart, the FTSE 100 again, holding horizontal resistance, so you're looking cap the move. 60 minute chart, you have the bull flag, but that bull flag now is vulnerable. Especially given the fact that oil uh, itself has a HNS formation, that certainly doesn't bode well. 10 minute chart, at the moment held resistance at the 70.25. And therefore, looking for a flush now back down to 6,990. We did actually hit a pivot, pivot low of 6,986 intraday. Okay, so again, like I said, looking for weakness, especially given the situation with regards to the Russian ambassador, and therefore it's signaling risk aversion given the uncertainty and so on and so forth. So, conclusion from my perspective really is to look for weakness in European markets led by the uh, Russian geopolitical situation, i.e., the Russian ambassador attacked in Turkey and passed away. This is certainly going to escalate things. On that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.